Isaac the other day about the ethics of genetic editing the ancient society did to all the different species. It was enlightening. Isaac keeps to himself, but he's really smart. You do know the meaning of a heart knot, right? It means our feelings will last forever. Darling. My teacher Merlin has to be in the top 10 anthropologists in the world. I need to work hard to catch up to her. I've always read stories describing Big at Five. But it didn't really prepare me for what I saw there. It's very... unique. Merlin is very good at what she does. I'm learning a lot from her. Thanks. I'm just a good old bookworm. Did you even have to ask? I'm always interested in relics. I do travel a lot, but I don't really sightsee too much. I'm mostly looking at all the interesting relics that people unearth. Vega 5 was very interesting. That whole city was carved from a relic. I'm not sure what I expected when I signed up to work with Merlin. <laughs> She's really famous among the people who study relics. She's really smart, but she can be a little too absorbed in her world sometimes. I saw a crystal globe once that could make it snow inside, with a projected picture of a couple. That was awe-inspiring. I once saw a weapon that could tear a hole in the wall when I was in Vega 5. After that, I actually agreed with the church's position on destroying the dangerous relics, but I still want to study them first. This is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. We don't need to research this at the research center, but it's obviously from the old world. Thank you. I can't believe you actually went out of your way to find something for me. No problem. I was curious what story you would come up with. We'll see. Maybe a child's father long ago was a sailor and gave him this toy. Or... I don't know. But I'll think of something interesting in no time. Thanks again.
Hi, how are you? I come here sometimes to read. What's the book about? It's kind of a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Well, you know I've spent my life studying the past, but I also like to read stories about the future. This one is about a future world where technology makes everyone's lives great. Nobody has to work because robots and machines do everything. If people want food, they simply press a button and it appears. If they need clothes, they just tell a computer what to make. Sounds like a story about the old world. Yeah, but this book is set hundreds of years in the future, when technology is great once more. But there's one man who can't stand it. He says if nobody works hard for anything, if there's no suffering and no pain, is anything really meaningful? And he tries to tell everyone this, but it's hard to get anyone to listen at first. So what happens to the man? I don't know yet. I haven't read the ending. Interesting. Well, I'll let you read it then. I'd like to know what happens. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know why, but you're so easy to talk to. It has been like the inside of a furnace recently. Fortunately, the fan technology from the old days is quite mature, and refrigeration tech is being recovered. According to the law of conservation of energy, the air conditioners merely expel the hot air out of the room. I don't think that's ideal. Darling? Oh no! Is something wrong? I lost something. It's so embarrassing. But I'm sure if I look in all my favorite spots around town, I'll find it. Oh no! Don't worry about it. It's no problem. What are you looking for? I don't want to say. It's too embarrassing. Just let me know if you see anything in any of my usual spots. All of them are mine. Thank you. Okay, bye. Wait, come on. You can't leave me wondering. Which one were you looking for? Okay. I'll tell you because I trust you. But you can't tell anyone else. Okay, I won't. I was looking for the picture, but it's not what you think. This is an ancient picture from the old world. I don't know what it's for but I think it's amazing it lasted this long. It's okay, I get it. Let me guess, you don't want it to look at this handsome man. It's like the toy boat I gave you. It's not useful, but it tells a story. That's right, you know me so well already. Thanks for not laughing at me. I'm so glad I have someone like you that I can trust. How did you find me? I was just thinking. About the past, I mean, I know the church says technology caused the age of darkness, but technology also brought the day of the bright sun. That's true. It was J. Peach's invention that ended the age of darkness, right? Yeah, so technology can't all be bad. I wonder where we would be today if we hadn't lost all the old technology. I don't know, but it's fun to imagine what it was like back then. Did you ever think of a story for that toy boat? No. Let's do it together, right now. Okay, so there was a sailor who gave the boat to his son. Because he was going on a long journey, and he knew he might not return because... Okay, so he gave his son the sailboat to remember him by. And the sailor's journey was treacherous. He faced many dangers, like... The 
whole time, the sailor thought of his son. He was away for years, never able to return home, but always promising that he would go back one day. Finally, the day came. He returned to his home, hoping to find his son. There he found... Yes, his son was still there, but he had grown into a man. The sailor was old now, and he felt it as he hugged his son. He would always tell the tales of his adventures, but he would never leave home again. It's a nice, happy ending. I like it. Thanks for helping me tell the story. I'm glad you're here by my side and not off adventuring like that poor old sailor. Thank you for supporting my work, dear. Rediscovering the science and technology from the old times is my ultimate dream. Darling. My love, just the person I wanted to see. Hi, Petra. What's up? I have a surprise for you. Well, more of a hint, but the hint's wrapped in a surprise. What? What are you talking about? I have a message for you. Okay. What is it? That's the surprise. You have to figure it out for yourself. Since you're so bad at taking hints, I left clues with several people around town. Your job is to collect the hints and figure out my message. Great, so go out there and get a clue. <laughs> yeah, Petra talked to me. She said, we've thought about the future. <laughs> That makes no sense. Yes, Petra gave me a message, but she said you need to talk to everyone else first. It looks like there are still one or two hints you missed. You've collected all the hints? Oh good, mine is, together we've told great stories. But she also said there's one last hint. You have to go back to her to get it. Oh, you're back. I'm so nervous. Okay, here goes. I'll tell you the last hint. It's... So, why don't we tell one more story? About us. And the first line, maybe it can be, I love you. Okay, that's all for my silly game. Did you figure out my message? Yes, what do you think? I knew you'd say yes. I love you. By the power given to me by the Holy Spirit, I hereby pronounce you united under the everlasting sun. Darling. Darling. 